Hi, my name is Dash, and I'm Platform Evangelist at StreamSets. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to design and build the data flow pipeline in StreamSets Data Collector. Let's log in. After you log in, click on Create New Pipeline. Give it a name. And this will present a blank canvas for designing and building the pipeline. So the first thing you want to do is select the data source. As you can see, there are a lot of options, including JDBC and file-based destinations to cloud and object stores. Let's pick one of the most popular ones, HTTP Client. The next thing you want to do is configure what should happen to any error records that are generated when running the pipeline. Again, there are lots of different options, but we'll pick discard for the sake of the demo. Once you've selected the data source, you have the option to add processors to perform transformations on the data that is flowing through the pipeline. And you can add as many processors depending on your use case. And finally, you add your destination. Again, lots of different options, including JDBC and file-based to cloud and object stores. Now, before you can run the pipeline, you would have to configure each and every processor as well as your origin and destination. For example, where is your Kafka cluster running? What's the topic name? Partition strategy. What's your resource URL? What fields would you like to pivot on? And how would you like to flatten the record? Now let's look at the same pipeline that I've already configured to just data from Twitter, which is the best way to get real data instantly. Here's the resource URL, and it's set to pull every five seconds. And I've provided my credentials on Credentials tab. Now before we do anything else, let's go ahead and preview the pipeline. The previewing pipeline is the best way to figure out what the data looks like, what the structure is, and what kind of transformations that you would want to have within your pipeline. Let's give it a couple of seconds. There we go. Here's the response from Twitter. As you can see, all the tweets have been nested within statuses list. And in some cases, it might be OK to store the tweets within the list. But in some cases, you might want to create individual records for every tweet within the list. That's what Field Pivoter is designed to do. Based on the configuration, it has created individual tweet records from statuses list. And you'll notice that individual tweet records have nested maps. And in some cases, it might be OK to store these records as is. But in some cases, you might want to flatten out the record. And that's exactly what Field Flattener is designed to do. Based on the configuration, it's flattened the entire record. And that's what gets stored or sent to Kafka. Now let's go ahead and close out the preview. Now before I run the pipeline, I'd like to show you how to create pipeline parameters so you don't have to hard code values within each stage or processor. Here you can see that I've created three different parameters, hashtag, Kafka topic, and Kafka broker URI. The Kafka topic and broker URI parameters are used within the Kafka destination. And the hashtag is used to get tweets 
from Twitter. Let's go ahead and run the pipeline. It'll take a couple seconds. There you go. So the tweets have started to flow in and down below is where you can see all the metrics. And finally, let's look at Kafka. Refresh the topics. There's a new topic that was created by the pipeline. One partition. And there's all the data that's flowing in through the pipeline. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.